Let's address the elephant in the room. The Entropy Center is very much inspired by Portal with its theme, mechanics, dry humor, and even as far down to the facility being accented with a Half-Life Orange. If you enjoyed the Portal series, stop right now and go play the Entropy Center because it is very well executed with plenty of originality across the board that is worth your time if you enjoy a good physics-based puzzle game. The Entropy Center is an organization located on the moon responsible for saving Earth from cataclysmic events over and over again. This is done by solving puzzles which creates energy which allows time to be rewound, therefore saving Earth from destruction. Over the course of the game, you learn what your importance is at the Entropy Center as you awaken to a long deserted, broken down and overgrown center. As a good puzzle game should, the Entropy Center eases you into its mechanics. At the start, you'll simply move blocks from one place to another, put them in the appropriate square, and unlock a door. From there, new elements are introduced one at a time on almost every floor, including the time-reversing gun, jump pads, launch pads, laser gates, moving platforms, electrical panels, and plenty more to leave some for surprise. Before you know it, you're completing puzzles with almost every single element that you've learned so far. The way the story is handled with environmental clues emails and occasional chats between you and your companion keeps you interested about what morsel lies around the next corner. The Entropy Center looks great because the game is divided into floors smartly with the goal being to reach the elevator to the next floor, with the end result being great visuals that showcase the brutalist architecture of the Entropy Center. The writing never had me laughing out loud, but its dry English humor did put a smile on my face frequently. The voice acting is also very well done for the few lines that it offers between areas. It doesn't have some big names that Valve has used in the past like J.K. Simmons, Steven Merchant or Nate Bargatze, who are experts in their field and elevated the experience, but the job that Astra and Aria do is well above average. There were a few minor visual glitches that happened during my time on the PS5, but nothing that affected gameplay or performance. Even though the security bot area served as a nice respite from their difficult puzzles, they were still frustrating at times due to the very minimal room for error. Playing on the PlayStation 5, this one feels like one of the few occurrences where using a bunch of haptic and resistive tricks could have been implemented in a very fun and smart way. What the Entropy Center lacks in Valve Polish, it makes up for in other areas. The clever puzzles that are evolving throughout with an absurd amount of elements that you will need to juggle by the end of the credits, witty humor, the near-perfect gradual increasing difficulty, and a rewarding story that surprises. If Valve doesn't want to make a puzzle game anymore, I'm very glad that Stubby Games does. We give the Entropy Center a 8.5 out of 10.